Yo, what up everyone? I'm just in here making some fat beats in my home studio. You know what it is. Anyways, I've been out there trying to bass fish quite a bit lately and it's still mid-March and I don't know, they're not biting. I don't even think it's pre-spawn or anything. The water's still really cold. So today I'm gonna do something really different. I took all my worms and senkos and uh, chatter baits and jigs and stuff and I took those out throw those over there get out of here and uh, I bought some some gulp minnows and corn and wax worms and trout magnets which I love but anyways I've never really fished with this stuff I haven't pan fished since I was like 12 years old um, so I got some bobbers and stuff I don't know I'm just trying to mix it up I haven't Panfish since I was a kid. There's no bass fishing around. There's no stripers. Water's too cold to go to the ocean in the later, so I figured just mix it up. I'm gonna go to Prospect Park with these uh, gulp artificials and see what we can get. Let's have some fun. here pan fishing a little bag of tricks here I'm really interested in these minnows start with this minnow first a little one incher got a one one sixty fourth ounce jig head here so my my guts telling me I need to go in the shady area in the back I'm gonna try this a couple more times I thought the the pan fish would be enjoying this sunny area but it appears that I am wrong oops wrapped uh oh give this area a try for a little bit I'm gonna try an earthworm oh just as I said it Someone starts hitting it. There you go. Dude, I literally said I'm gonna try an earthworm. I got one. It's my first fish of 2021. This is awesome. I haven't caught one of these in so long. Wow, this fish is really cold. Kind of like go out and yeah, I got a Hobie. Oh, oh, so do I. What yeah, Outback. Oh, nice. Uh, compass. compass is awesome for the weight. Well, yeah, it's a, they say it's 63 pounds, but it's it's not. No. Nah. And the whole thing is there's no handles on it, so I've learned to put it up there and take it down myself, which is the worst part of kayaking, put it on top of the car. Yeah. And then getting it off and then going home, then doing it again and washing the boat down and. It's a lot, so it's, it's a full day adventure. Right? Yeah, I kind of like the whole washing part. I don't have a car, but I borrow my mom's car. She's got a CRV and I got a roof rack for it, so I throw it up on top yeah. and I feel you, it's heavy. Yeah, it's, it's, how many feet is yours? 12. 12, yeah, mine's 11. So yours is probably even heavier than mine. I feel like the fish just want worms. I'll look through this soil and try and get a worm. I think that's, that's really what they want. They want a worm. Give them what they want. They are equally as interested in the gulp than the worm. So interesting. There we go. There we go. Nice pumpkin seed. I think that's what this one's called, a pumpkin seed. Really cool looking. It's like all purple. I 
like set this guy down and give him a give him a proper release. Jeez. Come on, Bobby. To be honest, to be real with you, they are way more aggressive on the worm than the gulp minnow. Way more aggressive. Just the way they are hitting it so much different on the worm. So there you go. Just go in the woods and get your bait. It's free. This is that NYC worm. All right, we got another one here. This one's a little bigger. Wow, this is a stud. That is a nice one. Another pumpkin seed. It's interesting with these bluegills, you got oh, I hooked him on the bottom. Oh, no, he's good. Just got him around his fin or something. These bluegills are really cool looking. They're like purple. Purple bluegills. Look at those colors. These fish are beautiful. This is, this is some underrated fishing right here. I'm having a blast. Wasn't catching anything before. Such a cool looking fish, man. Look at that. It's beautiful. Peace, buddy. So cool. All right, so we got about three bluegills under our belt today. Not bad, better than the past week of getting skunked. Let's try over here. This area is great. This is where the kids go to ditch school and get away from their parents. There's a gentleman practicing his saxophone over there in the beautiful hum of a siren. This is fishing in New York City, everyone, and I love it. Let's try these gulp, uh, let's try these gulp waxies. Let's see if this works. All right, no, no takers on the wax worm here. Doesn't appear that the, the fish are enjoying the wax worm. All right, we're out here with these wax worms. I'm trying it, I'm giving up my best shot here. I don't think these maggots really work too well. Try this trout corn for a sec, see if this works need my uh my little ball here this works great for trout i don't know if it's gonna work for sunfish we've got zero takers on the corn gotta find a worm see hooked up it's so crazy Literally just wasted a half an hour. I could have just casted out a worm and got one. Well, that just, that goes to show. It's, these fish are really cool. They're like uh, purple. See those colors? Oh, sorry, buddy. See, they got like a lot of purple on them. Super cool. Peace, buddy. Another one, immediately. Oh, is that a perch? Nice, caught a perch, yellow perch. Dude, this is the first yellow perch I've caught here. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Dude, this is so cool. I saw one, one person like four years ago catch a perch in here. Wow, this one's like ready to spawn. That's crazy. Yo, that's awesome. I'm so hyped up right now. Get a quick shot of my other camera. GoPro's been giving me trouble lately, so 
been trying to record on two cameras make sure I can get to the catch you know what I'm saying look at that perch so cool I'm hyped up that underwater really It's a good good time. This first day I'm catching fish of 2021. We're getting perchies. We're getting those perchies, baby. So I'm talking about. Let's dig in this ground and get another one of those worms. Oh, thought I had one. That was pretty immediate. I'm having a lot of fun catching these bluegills, I'm not going to lie. I don't think this is going to be an everyday thing, but, you know, one or two here and there. Better than getting skunked on the bass. Look at those colors. It's so pretty. They're like purple and really beautiful fish. I'll see you later, buddy. It was fun hanging out with you. I might go home, make some beats. Later. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for me today. I'm pretty cold. Got all my clothes on, and uh, uh, it's still mid March. Got us some time before these bass wake up. It's nice to hear that gentleman got a couple on his fly rod. It was nice to meet some other anglers. And I caught a yellow perch for the first time this year, and I've never caught one in Prospect Park before. So that just goes to show you should get out there and try new things. I know this year I'm going to be trying tons of new strategies. I'm going to intentionally go to some spots that I've never been to before just to mix it up. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Have a great rest of your day.